Uh, so as we said, alcohols can act as acids, but um, different alcohols have different pKa's, right? Different levels of acidity. Um, and so we're going to take a look at some factors that affect how acidic or basic an alcohol is. Um, so remember the trick to this kind of stuff is to always think about the conjugate base. Right, so when you deprotonate your alcohol, what do you get? If this conjugate base is very stable, then your compound is very acidic. If it's unstable, then it's not as acidic, right? So we'll just write more acidic equals, I guess more stable equals more acidic. Um, so just as a frame of reference, ethanol has a pKa of approximately 16. You don't have to memorize that number or anything, but it's uh, good to have for reference. Uh, so something that can make alcohols more acidic is the presence of resonance. So for example, phenol, that has a pKa of approximately 9.9. .9, so we can tell that's significantly more acidic than our ethanol. Um, and then if we think about the conjugate base, right? So take out an H plus, um, we can think about why it's more acidic. And it's because, as we've seen in the previous chapter, right, this lone pair, this negative charge can be delocalized all throughout this ring, right, over across um, these three main highlighted carbons. Another thing that can make them more acidic is induction. Again, this helps stabilize the conjugate base. So induction is when we have some very electronegative atoms um, near our, our area of interest. So for example, if we have three fluorines attached here, and then we have this OH here, if we subtract out this H plus, right, take a look at our conjugate base, right, we have this um, negative charge over here, but with these three fluorines, we can create a dipole, right, where um, this carbon right here is actually partially positive because the electronegativity of the fluorines is pulling those electrons away from that carbon. Um, and this positive, partial positive carbon and negative um, oxygen are a stabilizing force, right? We have a positive and a negative. They attract each other. They help stabilize each other. And to see the effect right here, this pKa is equal to approximately 12.5, um, right? So that's a difference of what, from 16, that's about um, three and a half, but remember this is uh, exponential. And so three and a half would be, you know, somewhere about, you know, a, a thousand, maybe 10,000 times um, more acidic. Um, and then similar to electron for um, induction, we can also have electron withdrawing groups, which is very similar notion. Um, so for example, if we have phenol with a nitro group attached to it, right, an electron withdrawing group, um, this pKa goes all the way down to seven, right? Much more acidic than even our regular phenol. And of course, the placement of the electron withdrawing group uh, is important as we saw in the previous chapter. So if you have this nitro group in the meta position, then your pKa is only about 9.3. Um, so you can explore why in the work along, um, but it should be pretty obvious. And then finally, we have solvation effects. So for example, ethanol has a pKa of 16, as we've said, whereas terp butanol has a pKa of approximately 18. So we can see that terp butanol is less acidic than ethanol. Um, and there's no resonance or really induction reasons here. So let's take out an H plus from each one and see the main contributor of this effect. All right, and the main thing right here is the solvation effect. So as you might guess, this has to do with the solvent. And usually our solvent here is going to be polar. And so basically with this top compound, it's less sterically hindered. And so this negative charge can be surrounded by more um, solvent molecules than the bottom one, right? This bottom one has all of the steric bulk. Don't forget that there are kind of hydrogens here. And so you can't fit as many solvent molecules around this negative charge. Of course, this positive and negative interaction are stabilizing. And so you have less of them, less stable conjugate base. 
um, and that thus less acidic component. So be able to take a look at two alcohols and identify which one would be more acidic than the other.